I have a drinking problem. I forget to drink water. So I get headaches. I tried everything. Drinking faster, keeping water around all the time, and a smart water bottle. Too expensive and it doesn't work. So instead, I built a cup that punishes me if I don't drink water. So I bought a Stanley, and I wanted to spill water if I forget to drink. But even better, why not an explosion of water that hits the ceiling? But I need a lot of force to do that. And how do I fit it into this cup? I did some research and I found my answer. Pressurized CO2 cartridges. So I bought a few and I tested them out. Whoa! Jesus. <laughs> this thing got so cold. Oh, that's freaking cold, man. Look at that. What I'm gonna do is I'll pipe a CO2 canister into the cup and have a servo open it. If I forget to drink, the CO2 will pressurize the cup and force water out of the straw at really high speeds. I slapped it together and was ready for my first super sketch test. Okay, so I'm covering up the lid and just trying to force the water out. But then I found a problem. There were way too many holes in the lid. The CO2 would leak everywhere and not make a huge mess, which is not the goal. There's gonna be a better way to seal that thing up. I have another idea. So I improvised. I think I might have something. This stuff that I used to clean my keyboard one time. Now this is probably dangerous. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna drink out of this. I'm just gonna <laughs> use this to seal up. Put this lid here. Now I gotta hold it with my hand. This should rocket water everywhere. Bro. Oh my God, it almost worked. It almost, oh, it almost hit the ceiling. It's all over my wall. But I didn't hit the ceiling. Watching the replay, I noticed that CO2 was leaking through the slime. So I did what any engineer would and went looking for my hot glue gun. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Unfortunately, it was not in my garage. I'm at Walmart. Hot glue. Nice. Glue gun. Check. So guys, I got what I needed. 10 boxes of Girl Scout cookies. Probably shouldn't be driving while I'm filming. Driving home. Oh wow. Well. It is a leaky weekend. We'll leave it there to cure. That's pretty pretty dry. It's a little warm there, but we're good. Screw this on. Oh. I was feeling super nervous, but I was ready for test two. We'll just fill it like nearly up to the top. This could end badly. It could end badly. Air goes out this cylinder into here, which this rotates. Comes out this here into this pipe, which goes in the chamber. Pushes the water out. Oh. I'm a little scared. It's all over the ceiling. It is all over the walls. It is everywhere. Oh my God, it's all over. Every, it's everywhere. Goal accomplished, but we are never doing that again. So that was scary, but just a water explosion. It's just not enough. I need to go further. Quick side note. Yes, I did test the Arduino servo control of the CO2 cart. I just skipped it since it was really boring. It's freaking working. Also, I found a water sensor that works surprisingly well. Okay, it stopped working. Oh, <laughs> It's because it's pulled itself out again. Water is in there, I stopped it. I release my finger in three, two, one. You can even see it. Anyway, time to take things to the next level. <sighs> that was so much louder than I thought it would be. Everything okay, Bella? No. Bella, was that loud? Shoot. 
My wife's gonna kill me. Wow, that was loud. Bella was clearly not happy about it, but I had to keep going. I wanted to press it remotely with a servo, so I designed a mount in Fusion 360. So what would happen when this rotates, it will press the button. Simple enough, right? Oh. <laughs> Fixed. Nice. Oh man, look at that. I needed to test it with Arduino, but I just couldn't get my code to work. So I called a coding friend of mine. Can you help me with coding? Affirmative, Luke. I am ready to assist you with coding. Please provide details of the coding task. Thanks to ChatGPT, I was back in action. Left. Right. Center. And if we just put it on here, now I just gotta go tell my wife to take my dog out so that uh, the dog does not have a panic attack. Stole some stuff from my wife. She's probably gonna get mad, but that's okay. It's my ear safety. Cotton balls. I feel like this isn't gonna do anything, but here we go. One more time. freaking shaking. Well, it worked, guys. I just need to, I think, reprint this, reinforce um, this so it goes all the way up. The air horn worked, but it just wasn't enough. I needed more of a spark. Bella, do you want to wear this? But Bella was way too cute, and I thought it would look better on me. Oh, man. I do not want to do this, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. That looks... Horrible. I'm super nervous right now. Oh. No, no, I'll do it in my hand first. So this is gonna go on me to make sure that, that I drink enough water. We will start at one. Whoa. <laughs> ooh, ooh. It goes up to 15. I'm going to do 13 right now. Oh. Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh. Do not put that on your dog. But I needed a way to press it remotely. Luckily, my friend Steven made a relay circuit for me to bypass the button. After lots of frustration, it finally worked. Ow. I think this cup is ready to be tested with all of these elements tied together, but something was still missing. I needed a little bit of flair, but I also needed a really strong servo to set it off. And lastly, I needed a way to make an assembly montage interesting. There it is. That's it. Oh my God. This looks insane. So I've been working on this project for like eight months at this point, and I have no idea how to end it. Um, I worked on this cup. I, you know, modified it a bunch of times, tested it. And now I'm ready for the final test. And I didn't know how to do it. And uh, my wife had a great idea, which resulted in me uh, going to Walmart. I got some really weird looks, but I bought <laughs> a poncho, some tarp, and uh, some rope. My wife is going to tie me up. I'm gonna have to escape from these ropes uh, in time to get to the water to drink it so that it doesn't go off. The tarps will protect my TV and the carpet. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. All right, get out. Okay. The timer should have started. Is it gonna start shocking me? <laughs> ah, Jesus. 
Oh, ow. oh God. Ah, this is like a torture. Jesus. All right, that's kind of loud. Oh, jeez. Not again. God. Bryn. Oh my God, that's hilarious. It was awesome. It was so freaking cool. It hit the ceiling as I wanted it to. Oh my God, it did blow the lid off again. And it destroyed the, look, it pulled, it pulled off the, the grip. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it worked. I'm still shaking and covered in water, and, but I am so happy. So did it actually teach me to drink more water?